recently I posted this picture to Facebook and everybody was asking, what's my secret to weight loss? To be honest, there really is no secret. And I know that's not what you wanted to hear, but if you want me to tell you that I take some magical pill or I drink three times my body weight in water a day or I sprint 60 miles every single week, that's not what I'm going to tell you. What I'm going to tell you is something that I've learned and something that I've held dear to me for the past two and a half years, and it is self-love. When you love yourself, you're automatically going to want what's best for you. So no, there is no real secret. The secret is to do exactly what you've been taught since you were born, and that is to love who you are. You know, this world does a real good job of trying to compare you to other people, making you feel like you're less than what you really are. But what you need to do is go, well, I'm better than that. I'm not going to be eating this processed crap that these companies are trying to feed me. And you know what's bad for you. And you continue to eat it because you don't know how good you are of a person. You have no clue that you are worth more than that nasty stuff on your plate. Yes, nasty stuff. It may taste good temporarily, but when you are 50 years old and you have heart disease and you got high cholesterol and you got diabetes and you are 400 pounds and you don't know what to do with yourself, you're gonna realize that all that food was not worth it. I eat very yummy, but I make sure that my stuff is processed correctly, all right? carrots, broccoli, lettuce. I'm not here and telling you that yes, I'm 100% like vegan and I don't believe in processed foods because every now and then I do have my Starbucks coffee and I do indulge in some chicken nuggets, but not every single day. And I hope you guys understand the difference. I love myself enough to not let myself get so bottled up and carried away with all this food that isn't good for us. Another thing, a lot of times we look in the mirror and we don't like what we see. I look in the mirror sometimes and I'm like, whoa, this person is real ugly. Like, what is this? And you know what? It's okay. But what's not okay is not taking care of myself because I had those thoughts. The moment you have those thoughts, you need to look in the mirror and be like, you know what? No, you are beautiful. You may be 300 pounds, but you are gorgeous. And that's what I used to tell myself when I was 238 pounds. I'd be like, you know what? You don't look that good. Actually, no, you do look good. Stop, Jalissa, stop. Change your mind because... Whether you say you can or you say you cannot, you are absolutely right and it is all in here. You need to convince yourself that you can do it and you need to convince yourself that you are able to get this done and that you are worth it. Whether you believe it or not, trick your brain into seeing that you are and that is the real secret. There is no diet secrets. Yes, I believe in a detox in the beginning and yes, I believe in exercise and yes, I believe in healthy eating. But you know what? You're gonna change the way you see yourself. The moment you start thinking differently, that's all it takes. It just takes that one thought, that little light switch to click on your brain saying you are good enough, you are amazing, you are worth it. That's really the secret. So there's a lot of people that are commenting on here, on my last post actually, that they were like, well, what's the secret to weight loss? How'd you do it? How did you lose 80 pounds? I just love myself. Like, I just said, that's enough. I'm tired of hating who I am. I'm just gonna love myself. And I believe that you can do it too. I really do. I really, really, really do.